G'day, I'm Eddie Springer from Springer Solar, and as part of our off-grid energy series, today I want to talk to you about Victron. We'll give you a general overview of the Victron brand and the Victron products. We're going to talk about some Victron system designs. We'll cover the batteries that Springer Solar uses in our off-grid systems with Victron and then we'll delve into some of the communications and some of the graphs and detail that we can get into as part of any Victron off-grid system. Victron is a company that was founded in the Netherlands. It's still a privately owned company and still has members of the original family uh, running the business on a day-to-day -day operation. Victron started in the small mobile application, so in the marine and RV market with smaller components and small systems. From there, they've received exponential growth and have tailored their products to suit the various different off-grid and grid-connected markets. Victron offers a suite of products from the smaller solar regulators to small lithium batteries, as well as inverter chargers, inverters, controllers and communications devices and hubs. All the Victron products are excellent quality and majority of them carry a five year warranty. So when designing your Victron off-grid system, Victron can be designed as a DC coupled system or an AC coupled system. If we were designing it around a DC coupled system, we would utilise the Victron Solar Controller or the Victron MPPT. So we would be designing our solar system within our system parameters and designing our solar array to suit the amount of energy required in that system per day. And we would be using a Victron Solar Controller, seriesing our panels together and creating a solar array to charge our batteries through a Victron MPPT. As the system size gets larger, we would look at maybe an AC coupled system. And Victron is compatible with Fronius or various other grid tied inverters as an AC coupled system. The advantage is if you use something like Fronius is that the data and the comms will talk through your Victron portals and that information will display correctly uh, through the VRM portal. So when designing our system, we're really looking at how much daily energy is required each day, and that will determine how big our solar array is, but that will also determine the size inverter that we're going to require to run the continuous output for that property. So Victron inverters are rated as a VA power output. You need to size your Victron inverter to suit the temperature that it's gonna be running at, and also at that peak load you want to be able to deliver. Size your inverter charger to be able to accommodate that maximum demand you are going to require for your 240 volt system. A 5000 VA Victron inverter might only give you 4000 watts of continuous power. If you need something larger, you would look at the 8000 VA Victron inverter. We're talking power and watts. We need to look at the continuous wattage output of your inverter charger when designing the system. We have moved on from lead acid batteries. Previously and, and traditionally, we've installed our off-grid systems with sealed lead acid. These days, we are more often using lithium batteries. And our two brands of choice for using with Victron are BYD, LVL batteries. So they're a 15.4 kilowatt hour, 48 volt battery, and they are stackable. Um, so we can increase that size up to the desired capacity we need. Or the other product we're using are Power Plus Energy. Now Power Plus are either a 3.3 or a four kilowatt hour module and we can again stack those units to build our energy storage system up to our desired capacity. The other reason we've gone to lithium away from our conventional lead acid is longer warranty. So these batteries have now have up to a 10 year warranty and they have also an increased depth of discharge that is warranted. 
One of the real advantages of Victron and Victron's off-grid products is their high-level communication devices. So Victron runs a local connection through Bluetooth, through their Victron Connect app, and they also run a web-based uh, platform, which is the Victron VRM portal. The local connection allows real-time data and access and local programming of devices via the Victron Connect app. So we can connect to the MPPTs, we can check live status, we can check float times, we can look at some history. We can also change battery parameters and change some settings on those devices locally. The next step is that VRM portal, where we're updating that data into, into the cloud and we're able to access that data remotely and from our phones anywhere in the world. To enable you to be able to see the data through the VRM portal, we would need a further device from Victron, either a color control or a Venus or a Serbo, any of those devices that will allow you an internet connection and allow you to connect multiple Victron devices to that hub. So having access to that communication software and having your installer have that access means that programming can be done or troubleshooting can be done without a site visit. It allows us to, to get into your system and change generator start stop times. We can adjust quiet times on your system. All of these settings are critical to allow you to run and manage your off-grid system trouble-free. The Victron product is a really uh, smart, sophisticated system that allows you to bring lots of different components in through one brand and one product suite, and we can manage all of those independently through the VRM portal. We love to use Victron Energy Systems for our off-grid setups, and we use them in our small and mobile applications as well. And we design and build our systems based on the requirements of our customers and the requirements of the performance of the system. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for your time.